health of your child. What could be more important to you? The pathway to good health starts with good nutrition. And making sure that your child gets the proper start is your most important obligation. Mother's milk with supplements or fortified formula provide all the necessary nutrients for the first four to six months of life. Breastfeeding provides a feeling of security and intimacy between mother and child, and your baby can sense your satisfaction. Nursing also protects your infant against certain newborn infections. However, if you are uncomfortable or anxious, your baby can sense this too, and perhaps bottle feeding should be your method of choice. During the months when you are nursing, it is very important that you eat a balanced diet. Your diet should include the basic four food groups, milk and dairy products, meats and other good sources of protein, breads and cereals, and fruits and vegetables. Your doctor may recommend that you take a vitamin and mineral supplement while you are nursing. Drink lots of fluids, but avoid alcohol or caffeine, including cola drinks. Smoking is not advised, since nicotine may be transferred through the mother's milk. Your baby's nutrition and health depend on your good eating habits and proper diet. Your appetite may increase when you're nursing. This is normal since extra calories are required to produce milk. However, if you start to gain weight, you may be eating too much. Can daddy come home, you want to eat, all right. Junk food has become a large part of our daily diet. It may be convenient, but you know it's not good for you. And for your child's nutritional health, it's a disaster. Your baby grows faster during the first year of life than at any other time. His body grows, and his brain grows. But if he doesn't get the correct food, he won't grow properly. A few suggestions on breastfeeding may help you and your baby enjoy the experience. The baby can be held comfortably whether you sit or lie down. Stroking his cheek with your nipple triggers a reflex causing him to begin feeding. Depress your breast slightly near your baby's nose so he can breathe more easily. That's better. Does that feel good? Huh? Are you starving? The baby will drink most of your milk during the first five minutes, but continues to nurse because he has natural sucking instincts and because he likes to be close to you. Check with the doctor before going home from the hospital to see if any iron, vitamins, or fluoride supplements are necessary for your baby. If the doctor prescribes these, put the drops in the side of his mouth with a dropper.
father can help with the feedings too. Mother can pump her breast milk into a bottle for use at a later time. Bottle feeding with a prepared formula provides good nutrition for your baby also. Always wash your hands before handling the bottles. Clean the bottles thoroughly. Wash deeply into the bottle, down the sides and around the threads on top with a brush. Clean the screw threads on the cap with a nipple brush. As you clean the inside and outside of the nipple, force some water through it with your thumb to be sure the opening is clear and clean. Be sure to rinse everything thoroughly. Washing the top of the formula can adds an extra measure of cleanliness. If you use a prepared formula, be sure it contains vitamins and iron. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that infants receive iron-fortified formula or breast milk throughout the first year of life. The amount will decrease as you increase the quantity and variety of solid food. Always follow label directions carefully whether the formula is powdered, concentrated, or ready to use. You may be advised to sterilize the bottles after you prepare the formula, especially if you live in an area without an approved water supply. Formula remaining in the can should be covered, refrigerated, and used within 24 hours. Okay, thanks a lot. Remove the inner cap carefully, making sure you don't touch the nipple. Warm the formula by holding the bottle in warm water or use a bottle warmer. Test for normal temperature by sprinkling a few drops on your wrist. The nipple should sprinkle it out in drops, not squirt it out in a steady stream. Hold the bottle so that the formula fills the nipple. This prevents your baby from sucking in air. Okay, let mommy start now. You have to burp. Burp your baby frequently. Your baby will need to be fed every three or four hours during the day, but do not wake her up for a feeding during the night unless your doctor tells you to do so. Feeding should take between 15 and 20 minutes, but no longer than 30. Talk to your baby. She needs to hear your voice. Even when she is very young, your conversation is important for her normal growth and development. Your touch, your voice and smile all make your baby feel relaxed and secure. As the baby grows during the first six weeks, she will want more milk. Increase the amount to as much as 26 to 32 ounces per day, but not more than that. Don't hesitate to call your doctor or clinic if you have any questions about your baby's eating habits. Always put your baby to bed on her stomach to prevent suffocation if she spits up some food. If you put your baby to sleep with a bottle, use only plain water. Anything else will deposit a layer of sugar that can weaken her first teeth. When your baby is taking the maximum amount of milk and is still hungry, he's ready to start on cereals. 
Rice cereal is a good one to begin with because the incidence of allergies to rice is very low. Later, you can alternate with oatmeal or barley. Continue to supplement your baby's solid food diet with breast or formula feeding until he is about a year old. He will naturally decrease the amount of breast milk or formula he wants during this time. Check with your physician when you are ready to take your baby off formula. How do you know how much your child should eat? Your baby will tell you when he is full. Don't force more food into him once he is disinterested. Five to seven days after introducing cereal, add a baby vegetable. Start a different vegetable after another five to seven days. Keep adding foods for variety, waiting five to seven days each time. Once your child is eating vegetables regularly, you may begin to feed him fruits. If one of the foods doesn't agree with him, avoid it for a few weeks. If a rash, diarrhea, or vomiting persist, consult your clinic. Around the age of six months, he'll be ready to eat strained meats. Do not use the combination or high protein dinners. They actually provide less protein for the number of calories they contain. In place of prepared baby foods, you can grind up regular adult table foods that have been prepared without salt or seasonings using a blender or hand grinder. Food can be prepared in bulk and frozen as individual servings. A clean ice cube tray can be used to freeze individual portions. These can be stored in clean plastic bags for use within a week or two. The toddler learns about the world partly by putting things in his mouth to taste. It's very important that you lock up all household poisons, drugs, and anything that could be dangerous to swallow. Every year, many babies become seriously ill or die from household poisons. It's not enough to put things out of reach. The cabinet must have a lock on it. Most children, especially around age one, will refuse to eat some vegetables or other foods. Don't force these foods on your child. Give him other foods instead. He'll likely eat better if you give him things he can handle with his fingers. He's too young for a knife and fork but too independent to have you feed him. By the time he's a toddler, he's no longer growing as fast and doesn't need as much food. Don't force him to eat. Almost before you know it, your child will be ready to eat regular adult foods. Include foods from the four basic food groups, milk and dairy products, meat or other good sources of protein, bread and cereal products, and fruits and vegetables. This will ensure a nutritious diet, not only for your children, but for the whole family as well. By providing your child with the proper diet, you also provide him with good eating habits. 
and that can make all the difference for the rest of his life. Your child depends on you to start him on the path of good nutrition and good health. Because, quite literally, his future is in your hands. <laughs>